Stone in Ipswich. Doing what? I've been laying down the drums for the uh, forthcoming DC album. <laughs> We are laying down Fields of the Fallen. Oh yeah, your favourite. Yeah, uh, we're doing that last as well, we're saving the best till last. Channel Pro says subscribe. Um, it just meant, you know, it was kind of like a rehearsal studio, being in a rehearsal room or whatever. It's kind of a, a much more normal situation than playing to, to guide tracks. Before us, Ted Moore, he'd done it with them and it, it worked really well, so he wanted to try it with us. And I think, you know, although it was, it was a lot of hard work um, compared to if I was just sat in the control room doing it, it definitely gave us better results. <laughs> These are my drums. I've got 8 inch tom, 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 inch tom, 16 inch tom, 22 bass drum. Um, all, all wood drums. And this is a Ludwig Black Beauty 14 by 6.5 brass snare. <laughs> Sonal giant steps, uh, they're not direct drive or anything. The end of that one was, was fucking raging. Mm. Raging. Endorsement now. This is the hardest groove on the album, isn't it? Oh, I had to fuck it up. Yeah, I know. You could just keep it 4 4, could you, James? Why stop counting at four? I don't understand. There's loads of numbers out there. <laughs> Seven. There's a, I believe there's a nine somewhere in existence. Um, That's how old you hovering, are, isn't it? Hovering somewhere over Zimbabwe, I think, at the moment. Sonal Force 3007 kit. Mid-range. Sounds, sounds incredible, though. And that is my drum setup, and I couldn't have seemed more autistic. <laughs> You steaming? Look at like, that. Oh god, you pissed yourself. Again. Out my ass. Yeah, you're always pissing out your ass. I know. You look moist. <laughs> are you that moist, honestly? Oh my god, you are the damp human. <laughs> oh mate. You are one of the dampest.
I think it, it was really natural for both of us to sort of go in the room together and jam the songs. Um, and yeah, I, th I think, you know, you know, any future recordings, we're going to do it the same way, for sure. I mean, it'd be great if we had the whole band in there, but like, you know, it's a little difficult when you, you know, you're sort of limited to just two rooms in the, um, in the recording studio. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.